the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one today is the eleventh day of May, being Saturday with six of Easter season. Our reading, will be, our reading will be coming from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 18, verse 23 to 28. A response to Psalm come from Psalm 47, verse 8a. A gospel message will come from John Gospel, chapter 16, verse 23 to 28. The theme of the message today is, ask and you will receive. Today, Jesus is reminding his disciples that, look, I've been with you, three years say to you, ask anything of the Father, he will give it to you in my name. Ask anything of my Father, he will give it to you in my name. Until now you have not asked, you ask nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive so that your joy will be full. Ask and you will receive that. That is God telling you what to do. Ask and you will receive that your joy might be full. If he asks you to ask and you will receive and you fail to ask, you will not receive. And if you don't receive, you don't blame many person. You, you are the one who caused it. You refuse to ask. And see, you didn't to ask, you, re, you didn't receive. And your joy is not full. Ask and you will receive, and your joy will be full. That's a great assurance. That's a great word of encouragement to their disciples. And they go to admonish them on further on this. I've said this to you in figure. I've said this to you in figure. They all come when I will speak to you friendly about the Father. In that day, you will ask in my name, and I do not say that I will actually ask the Father. No, for you. For the Father himself loves you because you have loved me. The Father loves you because you have loved me, and you have believed that he sent me. I come from him. So you don't need, just ask the Father in my name, you will get it. I don't know if you ask it. Ask him direct, he loves you. Because you loved me, and you believe that he sent me. So since you believe that he sent me, ask him in my name. He will do it for you. So when you believe in God, when you love God and believe in his son and Lord Jesus Christ, as the father for everything he will do it because he loves you, because you love the son. I came from the father. And I've gone, come into the world again. I am leaving the world and going to the Father. Yes, or telling them of what will happen. You will come into the world, the time comes, you will leave the world and go back to the Father. Yes. That's why they should be able to accept the Father in his own name, and they will get it. And now why today haven't seen that people who really turn to God and request for anything, we normally get it. We are told that Paul was in Antioch. Say some days in Antioch, and then went from the place to place preaching the word of God. In the legion of Galatia and Fiji, strengthening all the disciples. Strengthen all the disciples. That was the mission. Strengthen them on what they have had. Strengthen them to remain faithful to God. Strengthen them to keep to the word of God. And live according to the word of God. That was strengthening their faith. And there he saw a man named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, who came and he came to Ephesus. He was an eloquent man. Where vast in the scriptures had been instructed in the way of the Lord. And being fervent in spirit, he spoke and taught accurately the things concerning Jesus, though he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue. But when Pisili and Achelia had him, they took him and they expanded the word to him. They expanded 
to him the word, the way of God, more accurately. Yes. When he was speaking, he was asking for help. And he received the help. And when he wished to cross to Asher, the brethren encouraged him and wrote to the disciples to receive him. And when he arrived, he greatly helped those who, through grace, had believed. For he powerfully comforted the Jews in the public, showing by the scriptures that Christ is Jesus, was Jesus. Do you see it? He has now more equipped. He has asked that he has received more. And he is now more boldly speaking about Jesus, more accurately than before. Because he asked and he has received, and his joy is now full. Yes. And Priscilla and Aquilas were there to help him because they were, he spoke in their presence. To show you that the God who worship is king of all, he is the one in charge of every situation and every place at time and our lives and being. In him we move and live. That's why today you can see this being fulfilled as and you will receive. You will understand this message today that our God is a King of all the whole world and everything we ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I would dependently, faithfully ask God and receive from Him as He told us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.